y'all welcome back to another video i'm just in here getting ready to get my day started and was like let me just pop on the camera for a sec talk to y'all while i finish up my um skin and my hair care <laughs> i um just finished putting on my lashes I've talked to y'all about me wearing the, uh, what are they called? The cluster lashes. I'm still enjoying them. This is the pack here. This is the brand if you want to grab some. I have them in my Amazon storefront if you want to grab the exact ones I have. But I have totally enjoyed them. Let y'all see if you can see. They were so quick to put on. I put them on in like 10 minutes maybe. So yeah. But I'm in here finishing up. <clears throat> so I can get this hair together. So I can get my day started. And I was like let me pop on and let the people know. What I'm using for my hair. So I'm using my HD Essential Herbal Oil for my scalp. And then I go in with my. Uh, leave-in conditioner and then I follow up with my I follow up with my slick and shine for my edge edges to tame the edges I don't use my slick and shine every day but depending on how I'm feeling and where I'm going what I got planned I want to have these slick down so today is one of those days so I deal with really, really dry scalp, especially in the cooler months. So I use my herbal hair oil <clears throat> either daily or every other day. It just depends. So I started putting a little bit on and then I was like, let me pop on the camera really quick. So um, it's probably, you probably can tell the moisture, moisture already there. My edges are really fine. They've always been that way all of my life. So... <laughs> But I deal with really dry scalp, have a little bit going on there. So I need to put a little bit more. I have the four ounce bottles. I used to carry the four ounce herbal oils, but now I only carry just two ounces. So that's why I have this. And of course, I don't have a label on it. But um, I love the dropper bottle. I just suck a little bit out of there and go in and put it where needed and rub it in. And it feels so good. Feels, feels so good. So I'm just going to rub that in, manipulate it. Really well. A lot of you have already tried some of the herbal hair oil and you have said how much you love it. So I appreciate y'all. This is my 5-in-1 leave-in conditioner. I normally just mist my hair with this every day just as a little added conditioner Ooh. so it feels so good hey max i got my baby max right here so i normally decide where i want to have my hair parted i normally like a a heavy a heavy part kind of like that with my locks so i normally just put the edge tamer like right here whatever is showing so that's what i'm gonna do this is my slick and shine pomade you can use this for natural hair for relaxed hair all the products can be used on natural chemically or chemically treated hair so that's what i'm gonna use for my edge tamer today hopefully y'all are having a good day so far so good on this side of town so far so good i have um just a little bit of running around to do just a little bit so this is what the edge tamer looks like mine is used of course <laughs> So, I just take a little bit of that and get these edges together. Y'all let me know if you if you like 
laying your edges down. Some people prefer not to. Some people like the fully natural look. Like I, I love. That's my go-to. And some people um prefer to lay the, their edges down. But you see. You see what I'm looking like. She looking all natural. Right now. All natural. I'm using y'all as my mirror. <laughs> so what I do is I lay it down and then I go in and um, tie it down with the scarf. That way you can set it. So what I'm going to do is tie it down with a scarf. That way you can set it while I'm, while I'm getting dressed. Mm-hmm. She feeling cute. She feeling cute. I'm thinking about doing some color on my locks too. For the fall. I may do I may do like a ginger cinnamon color. I don't know. But yeah, y'all. I just want to pop in and show y'all my little hair care routine before I get my day started. So that's it, y'all. If you haven't already, I always have the link in the description box of um, all of my products that I carry on my HD Essentials website. So definitely check them out if you haven't already. <sighs> all right, let me get my day started. Bye, y'all. Hey, guys. I wanted to tell you about my new designer handbag. Teddy Blake reached out to me and wanted me to try one of their beautiful handbags. First things I noticed was the amazing packaging. I love how sleek and clean the packaging is, as well as how secure the bag was inside of this beautiful box. This box is one that you can keep and actually store your bag in inside of your space where you keep your bags. So I really loved that about my first impression. So um, I logged onto their website once they reached out to me and couldn't believe how beautiful these bags were. The quality definitely matched the images on the website. I was able to choose a wallet along with my purse. I love the red detail on the inside as well as the gold detail on this particular wallet as well. Now I chose a smaller like tote bag because I'm into more crossbody small bags these days. So this bag was a nine inch bag in size. I'm probably gonna be using it as like a crossbody more so than uh, just holding these smaller straps, but it was just right for what I wanted. Like the quality of the leather was amazing. The purse even smelled good. <laughs> <laughs> it smelled like real quality premium leather and I love that about this so you can see how luxury this bag looks definitely check it out down below if you are interested in one of these bags as well I'll leave my specific bag listed for you to check it out thanks again to Teddy Blake for sending me over these beautiful beautiful items
y'all i wanted to show y'all my plant she is desperate to be repotted i'm just surprised and excited that she is still living because honey <laughs> one of my stems actually is dying i guess I'm, i want to cut this but i don't know if i should if y'all are some plant baby plant mamas let me know this is a pothos plant and i was told when it turns yellow it needs to be repotted so if you remember i got this pot here that i thrifted i got my potting soil already in here i'm about to replace it into this bigger pot i'm trying to hold on y'all i love plants and flowers and all things nature see this one is doing good so some is going right but something is going wrong as well because that one is yellowing so i do a little i did a little research and um i read where it was time to repot it so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna pray for the best pray that it continues to flourish because i want it to be really big and full and i want to be able to take some pieces and propagate them and just have these all over okay not all over but you know i just like to have some some fresh live greenery in the house as well as some faux so we about to repot her let's hope for the best I'm trying to keep her alive I haven't even named her yet I need to name her that's probably why she's not doing good I hadn't I have to admit I hadn't been talking to her like I need to I've been neglecting her so yeah I need to work on the name and work on bringing her back to life so we're gonna see how she does in this bigger pot I'm excited I'm excited to see how she does and I'm showing y'all this proof 
<laughs> so hopefully we can witness her flourish together. All right, y'all.